Hey guys, it's your girl Lashes Tony X. Oh, how are you guys doing today? So I just have my hair pulled, up, pulled back today because we're gonna do a Q&A today. So I'm gonna get ready using all my Shop My Stash products. So I'm not really gonna talk about the products I'm using and focus on the questions. This is gonna be a long, chatty, get ready with me. So if you wanna know a lot about me, um, stay tuned it might be like an hour video i know some of you guys like long videos and some of you guys don't so you can split this video up i'm not gonna rush um so again your question was whom do i love the most in my life it would definitely be um my grandmother my family like my i have three boys if you guys did not know i have a 28 year old i always forget how old they are because they're getting older you you start losing count i mean like a 28 27 year old or 28 year old i have an older older son who's married um he lives on his own i have a middle son and a youngest son that lives in the house with me um and actually this is my middle son's uh birthday month um september so he will be i think I don't know if he's going to be 23 or 24. This is so bad, you guys. Um, once they get older, you start losing count. Let me know if you're the same way. Um, so, definitely my three kids. My youngest one, Harrison. I talk about so, so much. He's 20. Um, you guys know he uh, is my heart. Um, my husband has been my right-hand man. He is such an amazing person and he takes care of his family and he does so much for each for everybody in my family he helps out you know with my grandmother he helps out with all my kids if they need something that he's always been there for them um, he helps me out um, we have two dogs of course my two dogs are my baby girls so I've had Harley since she's right there I've had Harley since she was a little bitty thing she is like my daughter um, boo is like my daughter Ashley is my oldest son's wife I love her to death I could not I could not pick someone out for my son as perfect as she is a lot of people say how beautiful it she is she is beautiful but on the inside she is gorgeous and I have not yet to see a flaw in her so she is my pride and joy as well she's a daughter to me i hope she feels the same way about me <laughs> and of course my brother he lives with me as well and um he works with my husband and i love my brother so so much we've always been close um my mother i love her so much and she has a boyfriend and we're all a very close-knit family so definitely as this is a very long answer but family family goes above for me family goes above everything and then all right so second question what is your favorite food Ooh, this one is hard actually it's not hard i it, as soon as you said it as soon as you said it as soon as i said it it like i was like oh Chipotle. Chipotle is my guilty pleasure, you guys. Now, Chipotle is not really good for my acid reflux, but every now and then I will treat myself to Chipotle because I love, and I get a veggie Chipotle. I get, um, I don't think they have, my husband said they don't have the um, cauliflower rice anymore. Oh my gosh, that was my absolute favorite thing on there, the cauliflower rice. I don't know why they took that off the menu, but apparently they did. So, I love rice. I get beans, rice. Um, I get black beans, corn, rice. I don't get any, like, spice or anything because of my acid reflux, but I don't get tomatoes. Um, I just get ve all the veggies, like the red peppers, not the hot ones, but the, you know, green red peppers, um, the rice, sour cream, I love sour cream, I put sour cream in everything, so definitely my answer to that would be Chipotle. Second favorite would be brunch, I'm a huge brunch girl, 
this place that is near my house. Um, it is called Five, and they have chicken and waffles with syrup. Oh my gosh. If you've never had chicken and waffles with syrup, you are missing out. So I'm going to say those are my two favorite things is the brunch, any brunch, but mainly the chicken and waffles is everything. And then the next thing, I mean, the first thing I said was the Chipotle is my guilty pleasure. I just love Chipotle. Let's see, where is it at? Um, are you, let's see, da, 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 okay, this is another food question. Um, so are you, oh, it says are you, but I think it, um, the question she meant to say was, have I ever tried any Indian food? Or would I try any Indian food? Um, I definitely would try it because I'm the type of person, I would try basically anything. Not anything. Not anything disgusting. But, like, anything, you know, anything good, um, I would definitely try. And I, I definitely love spice, but... So I'm sure I would love Indian food, um, but I've never tried it and I would not know what to order. So if you know some really good Indian food, um, let me know in the comments and I will definitely either try to Google it to see how to make it or maybe I can find a little Indian place nearby or something um, and try. So, um, next question. Okay, how many tattoos do I have? I get this question a lot. Um, some of you guys have been watching me for a long time probably already know the answer to this, but um, I have four. So, I have four tattoos, and I feel like they each have their own story in my, in my mind anyway. Is this one right here? Can you guys see that? kind of um in a, at a weird place but I think it looks I thought I was such a badass when I got this tattoo to have an arm tattoo I just I, I felt like a badass I'm not gonna lie about it um that's not why I got why I got the saying but to have it on my arm like this I just felt like such a badass <laughs> I'm not even kidding um this did not hurt okay so I actually went there to get a different completely well not completely different but i had a totally different tattoo type of thing in mind so my dad and i's favorite favorite song of all time i've i've played it before um like i've posted if you're like on my twitter or my facebook i've you know posted the video and stuff like that so it's called daddy's hands it was a very popular song in the early 80s i believe so it was mine and my dad's song it's called daddy's hands and i wanted the whole lyric um like the whole first i wanted one one of my favorite parts anyway like you know to go like in small print all the way up my arm that's what I had visioned, envisioned, and I had planned it out and everything. And the, the guy that I went to, I didn't really, he's the type of person, like, he talks you out of things that you like, and you're, he's like, no, I don't think that would look good. I think it would look better if you did this. And he was like, let's just do the title of the song. And, because you have a small arm, let's just do the title. And we'll make it very girly and cute. So he did it like, I don't know kind of he did it really nice um cool but i mean i think i would have really i might do it on this arm i really like the lyrics that it that it stood for because it was all it was just every time i hear that song i cry um so anyway this is my dad's mine and my dad's favorite song daddy's hands um and this tattoo means the world to me um so Ashley has this really bomb tattoo that's like really tiny writing that goes all the way down 
her arm. So I'm thinking I could do the lyrics that I wanted originally down this arm, like right where everybody can see it. I think that would be totally awesome. That's my my next, like if I, there's two tattoos I would like to get, a Gemini tattoo. Um, I think me and Tiffany Dawn had discussed it a while back. So if we get together again, maybe me and her will go get a Gemini tattoo. Um, but I really want to get the lyrics of daddy's hands okay so that's my first tattoo my second tattoo <laughs> came with a little bit i need to do my makeup while i'm doing this guys. this is gonna be forever all right so my second tattoo um came with a lot of spunk and attitude and i'm not gonna go into why exactly i got the tattoo but someone really did something really bad to me you guys see that? So it says karma. Karma. So I got that when I was really mad. <laughs> but I've always believed in karma. Like I really do. I know some of you guys probably don't. But if you don't, that's, I mean, everybody's, I feel like everybody should believe in what they want to believe in. But I do believe in karma. So my next tattoo that I got, um, well, this was actually my first ever tattoo. And it is this one right here. And I did feel like a badass when I got this one as well. So this tattoo, again, about my father, it meant the world to me. Me and my dad were best friends. And my dad was a music, mu what? My dad was a musician. He was a drummer for a band. And I remember growing up, we always had a set of drums in my living room. And he actually taught me how to play the drums when I was younger, but obviously I forgot how to play. Um, and I didn't keep it up. So, but my dad was a drummer in a van. So I got this tattoo. It says daddy's girl and it has like, um, music notes all over it with two hearts, but I loved the music notes. Um, I just, that to me, the hearts and the music notes and daddy's girl, I just thought this was like the perfect tribute to my dad because he was my best friend. He taught me how to play the drums. He was a really great a drummer and I just remember growing up always listening to music. So that meant a lot to me. My last tattoo, my fourth tattoo, I can't really show you, but it's on my ankle and it is a heart with wings and it has my husband's name Andy on it so yeah those are my tattoos um all right so that was those questions let me see where we are all right I have how many questions do I have I have three pages all right so let's go to the next one and I need to start finishing my makeup or you guys aren't gonna get to see the finished look all right so I'm gonna use my Becca ultimate coverage I love this stuff. I don't even know what color it is, but I'm pretty self tan right now, so it'll be fine. I'm gonna show you guys how I use it. It's very thick. Um, so that's my dog snoring. I'm gonna mix in. I told you guys I like to mix in a facial oil or, or facial oil or a light, like very watery um, foundation with it. So I'm gonna add the You to the People, and this is the Hydrate plus glow dream oil so i'm just gonna add i might need a little bit more of this um okay we'll go to this one all right so what is my favorite family vacation what is my favorite family vacation um honestly i have the best memories of when my kids were little we went to Disney World every single year and we would save and we would save and we just did the whole Disney package where you get all the food, you get the room, you get the tickets and the fast pass and um, meeting all the characters and the shows and we just did it all and we went to like mickey's what was it what was it called mickey's the mickey shelf not shelf chef chef mickey's that's what it's called chef mickey's um we went there oh 
our favorite place to eat was Polynesian. It was so good. We still talk about that to this day. Um, and we went there when my kids were a little bit older because when they were younger, we always did the character dining. I just thought that was fun for the kids. I personally loved the, because I love old school stuff. Me and Harrison really liked the diner, the 50s diner, which I think is closed down now. I haven't been in so long since my kids were, I want to say they were teenagers and now they're in their 20s. So I think the last time we went, they were in their, my oldest son was a teenager. So Disney World is definitely, just holds a lot of good family family time with the kids so we went on a road trip it was three weeks we went all the way we live in the south so we went from Alabama excuse me Alabama all the way up to Washington State and um, we were like an hour away from the Canada border um, unfortunately, we did not have, our, this was all before the pandemic and everything. This was, um, probably about five years ago, maybe, four years ago. Um, but yeah, it was, oh, another place I really enjoyed was Seattle. Seattle was amazing. I think I would actually love to live in Seattle. Yeah, I told my husband, I was like, can we move here? And he was like, no. Um you know his he has his own heating and cooling business and in the he definitely makes more money in the spring and summer than he does in the fall and winter so um he was like no we're not moving to seattle but i don't know i know it rains a lot in seattle but it's just it's just so freaking beautiful. And also, my favorite, one of my favorite shows is Frasier. <laughs> All right, so, let's see. Do, 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 do. All right, there we go. Okay, we're going to do the um, makeup questions in a minute because I'm going to have to get some products out. All right, so, let's go to this one. Is Andy's real name Andrew or is it actually Andy? That is a great question. Nobody's ever asked me that. <laughs> um... His, his first name is George, and his name is actually George Andrew. So, Andrew is um, where Andy came from. But when he moved away, when he got older and moved away from home, um, his family lives in Florida. He's from Florida. He grew up in kind of all over Florida, actually. And... Um, like most of his family, I believe, called him George. But when he moved to Alabama, um, he just wanted to be called Andy for short. So, that's where Andy came from. <laughs> and it's just, it just stuck. It just stuck. He's been living in Alabama since, I don't know, since he was like a teenager. So, he left home really, really young. And, uh... He didn't want to be called George, and he was like, just kind of stuck with Andy, and that's always, it's just, that's all I, I mean, I would never call him George. That sounds so weird to me. Um, but my grandfather's middle name was Andrew as well, so I thought that was kind of cool. But, um, okay, and so, what else here? What was I going to say? I have no clue. Okay, no, another question. How long have we been together? That is a great question. I'm trying to see. Let me look up close um this foundation because I'm gonna be um we met when um I was divor completely divorced. Um I had two boys, Brent, my oldest, and Benjamin my middle son so they have different dads than harrison so my two oldest boys um i was divorced from their dad or he divorced me and um and so i 
after the divorce, um, since we got married so, so young, um, after the divorce, um, he had a girlfriend and I was like, you know what, I'm going to start, you know, dating or I'm going to just have fun because I, I was never the type of, of teenager that was partying or anything like that. So I was like, I'm going to, I was like, I'm going to have fun, you know? So I go to this bar and, um, this guy comes up to me and he has no game whatsoever. <laughs> And, um, I'm with my girls. I'm like, back then I used to have a whole bunch of girlfriends and we've all kind of drifted away, but I had a whole bunch of girlfriends and we would go out. We went out to this bar one night and, um, this guy comes up and I'm like, what? we were both, met. I was like, what a creeper. <laughs> and, um, so he comes up and he's like trying to put like his game face on, you know? He still had his work clothes on, you guys. He worked for some kind of air conditioning company. And he he tried to put the moves on me by saying, um, yeah, I've got I've got three kids and I'm getting a divorce to my wife. And I'm like, Oh, okay, here's my friend so and so. Y'all you should go out with her. I'm trying to like dump him off on my friend, you know? And um like, I always laugh about that. Like, I try to dump him off on somebody else. Um, but, so, we eventually um, became really, really close. Really, I had, he was like the only true guy friend I have ever had that was like a real, real good friend. So, we were just like friends for years. And we would hang out. We would do everything together. One of our favorite things to do together um, was we, we used to go to like thrift, not thrift stores, but like yard sales back in the day. I don't know if you guys remember that, but we used to go to yard sales and look for cool things. And then he was really good, you know, with the kids and stuff. And so eventually we started dating and I was like, I never in a million years thought I would end up dating you. You know, you're totally not my type. So anyway, I'm going to shorten the, my answer. So we have actually been married 21 years and we were together a year before we lived together for a year before we got married and had kids. So we've officially been together 22 years, but married 21 years. So 20, it'll be 22 years of marriage in April in 23 years just of, of us being together but yeah that's how long we've been together a long time a long time all right so okay at what age did you realize you had a love for makeup okay so i remember growing up with my mom always using CoverGirl was her thing she always only used drugstore makeup she never used high-end makeup so, definitely, she was a drugstore girl. She had L'Oreal, Maybelline, CoverGirl. Um, so, she always had that on her vanity. She was always wearing makeup. Um, and so, that's like my youngest memories of watching my mom do her makeup all the time. And so, I just remember always like wanting to play. Like, I asked her, can I play with your makeup? And she'd be like, yeah, you can play with this, whatever. So, I'd play with her makeup. But when I was really young, I was a complete tomboy. I'll say I got into makeup when I was about 13 is when I started being very curious. Wanting to be more girly, wanting to wear makeup, wanting to dress cute, do my hair and stuff like that. So that's, I was about 13 is when I started really getting into my mom's makeup drawer. So, but I'll tell you what I remember the most using. So I was really big in Clinique. Clinique was, me and all my girlfriends wore Clinique. Clinique was it. So you would wait till they had that special where you got the makeup bag and the extra goodies. But there was a certain product I could not live without when 
I started wearing makeup. It was my favorite. It was a, I don't know if they still have it. If they still have it, I'll try to link it. But it was a pressed foundation powder. So, I, back in the day, I was very, I wore very simple makeup. So, probably about when I was, I would say about when I was 15, 16, 17, I would just do simple makeup. So, basically, all I wore was Clinique um, powder foundation. I didn't wear primer back then. Um, I didn't moisturize my moisturize my face. I had oily skin. Um, I didn't have breakouts though. I was pretty blessed on that. But I would just wear no eyeshadow with a ton of like mascara. So I liked those spidery black lashes with a powder face, <laughs> and I would wear. Uh, I don't think I wore bronzer or blush. I would wear a really dark lip liner <laughs> with a light lip liner in the middle. And it looked, when I look back at pictures, it looked horrible. Um, and I loved hairspray. Hairspray was everything. I would see how high I could possibly get my hair. Um, and that's what I did. I also used to do you guys remember crimpers? I had a crimper and I loved my crimper. I would use it every day before school. And I just thought I was the coolest person ever with a crimper. And looking back on my pictures, I'm like, why? But why? Fun times, fun times. I definitely can say Clinique was my favorite. Um, it was definitely something I remember repurchasing so many times was that Clinique powder, um, Clinique mascara, and those are the two main things I remember. And I think the lip liner that I always would get was from Smashbox, I think. I don't remember the name of it, but and I don't know about the lipsticks. I think whatever a lipstick, I don't think I really cared about lipstick, but, um, but yeah, that was my makeup. <laughs> Very weird. All right. Um, I'm going to let these dry a little bit. And then I'm going to go up under my brows. And kind of sculpt them out. Just a little bit underneath. Let that dry just a tad. All right. So next question. I got this question a lot from you guys. Especially in my DMs. How have I been feeling lately? So thanks for everybody who's asked me that. It's very sweet of you guys. Um, so... Um, I was feeling pretty good for a while. Um, I would say I was, you know, doing pretty good. I have my good days and my bad days, just like everybody else. I have really bad, um, arthritis in my feet and my hands. I have a really bad back pain, like, to the point where I'm in tears sometimes. Um... And I have to put, like, something hot on my back or uh, take some Tylenol. Um, but other than that, uh, my biggest problem was, I would just say, after my COVID shot, I felt like I, had a, like I didn't feel good. And then, like, all my joints were hurting really bad. And my I had a huge panic attack. So, that was not cool. Um, but other than that... Um, I would say I've been having headaches from time to time, body aches from time to time, but other than that, I've, I've been pretty good, actually. I can't really complain. Um, so thank you for everybody who has, you know, asked me how I've been feeling. Um, the worst I've felt in a long time was the day after my COVID shot. That was a bad bad day um yeah that was a day i don't even want to think I, if i ever have to go through that again that was just uh thinking about that makes me want to cry because it was such such a horrible day um my heart rate uh it does since i have a regular heartbeat i do have issues with that 
Um, and my doctor told me I could take my heart medication three times a day now. So it was one. Then they jumped it up to two. And now I can take it like three to four times a day to control um, it going when it goes really, really high. Or then sometimes it'll drop down to really, really low. And it's kind of scary. But she told me that it was normal um, for people who have what I have. So she said, you know, don't freak out. But it's easier said than done. Let's see. Answer that one. Answer that one. Okay, do I have any, um, do you have any organization tips since you're in the new home um i would say my tips for being organized um i personally like try to get a lot of like those floating shelves it doesn't take a lot of space like a big piece of furniture would but you could still like decorate your room and add really pretty um decorations and, and you know wherever in your room you want more decorations but you feel like your house is cluttered i feel like floating shelves are really nice um i always like i'm huge on organizing my makeup like my beauty room has to be organized i'm not a messy person my clothes have to be organized so I'm not obsessive like I have to do like color or anything like that. I just like everything hung up. I like kind of like my dresses here, my shirts here, my t-shirts here, you know, my jeans over here. You know what I mean? Like I have certain places I like stuff. Um, I definitely like my makeup in storage, like in these little storage cabinets. Um, I've been looking on Amazon for a lot of different storage things for the kitchen um i saw this really cool thing that you can put like if you don't have a lot of um space on your um kitchen counter it is just like a like three layered shelf where you can like you know just stack it up high that way it's not everything's not across your counter space you know what i mean so you could like just stack up instead of going vertical you're going horizontal does that make sense so when you have small spaces i feel like that type of stuff is important um what else can i say um as far as like your closet definitely try to get um some type of storage uh situation going on in your closet i love like when my shoes are on i have like this little shelf that like i like to put all my shoes on um i would love like built-ins but i don't have built-ins but i just really think like any type of containers i love the container store um anytime you can find you know storage i've seen on amazon I, I can link a couple things that are really good for storage but i seen on amazon i thought about picking them up you can hook them on your cabinet like your cabinet door either in your bathroom or your kitchen and then it when you open up the cabinet there's a shelf that's like on the side so the hooks are over the cabinet and you can put like more stuff maybe your uh, cabinets are full but you still need to put stuff down there i thought that was awesome they're like 20 bucks and you get two of them um so that type of stuff i feel like is really cool when you need you know organization and stuff like that so i'll try to link a few few things for you guys um if you wanted to know that Oh, another thing about organization, I've learned that baskets can be your best friend. You can put blankets in them, and it's it makes it pretty for decorations. Um, so, I've really been enjoying doing that for different rooms in the house. Just get really beautiful, um, like, storage baskets that are pretty. Um, Target has a bunch of different really pretty ones. Um, 
Amazon has some too. But I really like the ones at Target. Um, and you can put toilet paper and, you know, make it pretty. You could put it in the living room, put your blankets in it, make it pretty. You can um, use one for, you know, dirty clothes. So it's, it's pretty, but it's not like... You know how some like dirty clothes baskets that look a little tacky so it's like or you could use it for it just all, magazines just like all kinds of things that you can think of you can actually use um for storage for if you have kids you get a really pretty basket put in your living room or your family room and just throw all your kids toys in it or you get one and put all your dogs toys in it and when company comes over you just throw it all in there and it still looks pretty it still looks you know clean and nice so I would say baskets are really probably my favorite organized organization product I've been ordering a lot of baskets <laughs> Um, I'll try to link the ones that I did put in my house as well for you guys. I'll link them. I'll link the organization cabinet things. Uh, I'll link the uh, wicker or just the baskets from Target, Amazon, and different things like that that I think you would um, find pretty cool for organization. Okay. All right. So, how to best start a YouTube channel? This is going to apply differently, honestly, to everybody um, because it's really based on, your channel is really based on your personality. So, honestly, it's just going to be up to kind of everybody is different. So, for me, I knew I wanted to do YouTube. I knew it. Like, I would watch YouTube and I was like, I want to do that so bad. And... It started off with a cell phone and outside light and then later on I was like okay well let me order these lights off Amazon and make it a little bit more you know classy I'm just gonna take this powder and kind of tone down this blush um, so and then eventually I got a really cool camera that I really enjoy um, took me a while but I finally got one I got a used camera when I like after I used my phone then I got a used camera and I used that for a little while it wasn't my favorite at all it was very complicated um it was one of those old school cameras um but I really love the camera that I have now it's a Sony um it's just really easy to use and I'm not tech tech technology savvy like my middle son is I was like I'm always telling him like you should do this for a living but I'm just not tech savvy but I have to learn everything myself and it takes me a while to learn it but yeah so I would say start off uh I mean you're going to be a small channel anyway at first so start off with just a setup you could set even set it in the floor just prop your phone up um, and get right beside a mirror make sure that not a mirror I always say uh, call a window a mirror get right in front of very good lighting make sure you film during the day um, that's my phone going off we have bad weather today um, make sure you're filming in front of a, a window you use your phone and prop it up and then you could sit in the floor. You could put something cute in the background. It doesn't have to be fancy. Um, you can eventually get a camera, get a ring light, and you know have like a little setup and put some stuff in the background. But everything's going to be a process. So I would say maybe treat yourself like once you start your YouTube channel, maybe you get a hundred subscribers. Treat yourself to a ring light. Um, maybe you get. A thousand subscribers treat yourself to a new camera you know what I'm saying like each goal that you um, get to treat yourself and eventually you'll have everything that you want for your YouTube channel and I would just say with me when I first started YouTube I popped out four to five videos a week I was just pop 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 I had a lot of time on my hand back then 
Um, so like, you know, my kids were in school. Um, I had plenty of time to film, you know, I wasn't taking care of my grandmother. And so I had just a lot of time on my hands, you know, my husband would work late and I would film like four or five videos a week. And now it's like, I can barely get two up if I'm lucky. Um, but I would just say you need to be, try to be as consistent, especially starting off. Once you get subscribers that are super loyal, loyal to you, it doesn't matter how many videos you post, they will understand. If they truly like your channel, um, they will understand. You know what I mean? Like, you don't have to do, like, six videos a week. You could start off, you know, I would say start off trying to do as many as you can. Um, the editing is probably going to take you a little while to learn. That was my biggest thing. I'm still learning how to edit, to be honest with you. Okay, guys, I just went ahead and went off camera because this video is going to be really long. And I just went ahead and did my makeup. Um, the new Natasha Denona palette. Of course, I got my prime, Lash Lancome Primer and the e.l.f. Um, Big Mood, I think, mascara. This is the Pillow Talk um, lip liner and lipstick that I'm wearing. Um... And then I added my favorite blush, which is the Milani Kiss of Nude or something like that. That's my favorite blush. So, then I sprayed my face with my favorite uh, setting spray, which is the Huda Resting Ball setting, setting Spray. And that's all I did for my makeup. Now, the next question is, what beauty items do you always have in your makeup bag? So I wanted to show you my makeup bag. This makeup bag was sent to me from Heather, one of my subscribers from way back. So Heather, if you're watching, I still have it. So it says Rome on it. It's really cute. And I'm gonna show you everything that I have in here. I think the kids are home. So if you hear a noise, um, I might have to shut off the doors. Not really sure what's going on. Um, and then there's two big questions that are going to take a long time. So I think I'm going to do either a separate Q&A with that. Or I'm just going to do two other videos doing that. So um, one of the questions was if you could only keep five makeup items, what would they be? That would be a really cool video. And then the other question is what is your skincare routine? So I could do that as a separate video. Those could be two separate videos or I could do another Q and A. Let me know in the comments which one you would prefer. But this question was what beauty items do I always have in my makeup bag? Always. So I'm gonna show you. The first one, you guys probably know if you've seen my recent video. This is the Sol de Janeiro um, hand sanitizer. I am obsessed with this, you guys. I only have like a tiny bit left, but I love using this at spray. So what I do is I'll, if I go somewhere, I'll spray one side, spray the other side. I'll do the same with that hand, and then I will just rub them together. And it also smells exactly like the body, the body uh, whipped body lotion and the perfume. So in the body spray. So your base, it's basically like having the body spray and a hand sanitizer in one. But you can't beat that. So I think Boo smells it and she's not too happy. So I highly recommend this hand sanitizer. It's probably my favorite one. I need another one, you guys. I'm low. I gotta pick up another one. So, I'm gonna put one of these in my cart so I can have another one. Boo didn't like that smell. She just made a beeline. This is the um, Lancome um, Idol perfume. It's really cool because it's flat. You can stand it up. At first, when I first bought it, I didn't think you could stand it up because they had it like flat. But you can. It is really skinny, but you can stand it up. But it's it's like the size of a credit card, you guys. It's so thin. It smells delicious, though. I would say I'm really bad at notes, but it has a sexy floral. That's how I would describe it. 
a sexy floral. So I love it. Again, Lancome's Idol. It's in my purse at all times because I like to smell good. I always carry a lip balm. Um, Ashley bought me like a ton. I think she bought me like a 10 pack of these. So I have so many different ones. But this is um, the Laneige uh, Lip Sleeping Mask in Apple Lime. So I have one of these in every room, I think. So I usually carry a lip balm because I have very, very chapped lips. Um, always carry a powder with a mirror. So um, this one is my favorite powder of life. As far as high end, this is definitely, I have a favorite drugstore powder as well, but this one is my favorite. I like to carry pressed powders with me instead of loose powders. Um, it's just what I prefer um, because I do have to touch up having, you know, oily combo skin. But this is the Charlotte Tilbury, um, what is it called? I don't know the exact name. It's like a flawless powder. I picked up number two medium and I love it. I'm obsessed with it. So I have that. Also carry a brush just so if I need to powder, um, my nose around usually it's around my t-zone especially around my nose where my large pores are um and maybe a little bit on my t-zone but mainly around the nose area is where i powder then i bring my lip combo which this one is a mini and i like to keep this one in my in my makeup bag so this one is the pillow talk mini i use this for i think i had some points from sephora and so i just have the um little mini pillow talk in my purse i have the pillow talk on my lips but this is the large one um but same color it's the matte one and then i also have the nyx uh this is my new favorite lip liner the nyx um nude truffle lip liner so i have that and that is everything i always keep in my makeup bag i always have a powder I always have a mirror always have lip products gotta have chapstick um gotta have powder gotta have a mirror and always have to have a perfume to smell good my perfume changes up obviously my lip co lip combos change obviously i always keep a brush this is small one of the smallest brushes i have always keep a mask in my makeup bag and then last but not least a hand sanitizer i have three in my purse but this one is my favorite and i need to repurchase it so yeah thanks for all the questions guys and i hope you enjoyed this q a get ready with me i will try to link some um of the products that i talked about for you guys and thanks whoever um all the people you guys know who you are that left questions and uh, dm me questions and left questions on different parts of my social media i really appreciate it if you left a question and i didn't see it i'm sorry leave it down below and i'll try to do another q a later on but i'm really thinking about either doing a q a with those two questions because it's going to be a long answer or splitting those up into videos let me know in the comments what you think i could do a skincare routine video and i can also do a um if you could only keep five makeup items what would they be and i could do that video if you're interested let me know in the comments if you like this video please make sure to give me a thumbs up it really helps my channel out make sure to comment like and subscribe and i will see you guys next time bye